Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to increase your FPS in Battle Ride game. This game is now free to play, so it's a pretty much pretty good game, honestly, for a free to play game. I bought it back in the days for twenty dollar, and I play a lot of it. So uh, yeah, that's a really good game. So first of all, I will show you where is the config file for the game. Uh, just go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Battle Ride, Battle Ride again, Settings. And open your graphics setting with a software like Notepad++. You will see this. All those options are already in the game, so I will show you uh, what to change. But uh, this one, uh, it's not in the game. So if you have a, a BenQ or whatever, a ViewSonic, and uh, you have a 144 Hz, you can change the Hz over there because it's not an option that you can change in the game. But uh, when you uncap your FPS in the graphics setting in the game, I feel that my Earths are okay. So if you just want to make sure, you can change it here and just save it, okay? So let's go in the game. So first of all, um, okay. Let's start with resolution for sure. If you lower this, you will gain it. Uh, more FPS, but again, the majority of the player want to play at 1080p, so don't touch it. Uh, I saw an increase when you play full screen in this game, so 4 to 5 FPS, you can use this one. And when I say 4 to 5 FPS, it's when I have a, when you have an high-end computer, because if you have a really low-end computer, you will maybe uh, gain 1 to 2 FPS, okay? So FPS limit here, I'm limiting, uh, you just have to change it here to custom. And I'm limiting this to 144 because I have uh, 144 Hz. So uh, really important here. And if you don't want to uh, your GPU to getting hot or so, whatever, you can lock it at 60 if you want. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Depth of field, uh, remove this parameter. You will gain one to two FPS and it's not necessarily a good effect in the game. For me, it's pretty much cancer. Uh, vertical sync, just uncheck it too. You don't want input lag when you play. Uh, soft particle, same thing, uncheck this. Uh, 2 to 3 FPS here, nice gain. And bloom, same thing, remove this. You will have 1 to 2 FPS. Again, a pretty decent gain. And the last one is shadow. Shadow is pretty important. If you uncheck this one, you can gain 3 to 5 FPS depending on your computer. Uh, it's really important and it's not something that uh, will decrease a lot your image quality because honestly when you play a competitive game like this you don't care about shadows uh, and if you still don't have your 60 FPS uh, you should touch maybe the um, SSAO here depending on the video card on AMD I saw that you can gain 2 FPS to 3 but on Nvidia it was 1 to 2 so not a big thing and anti-aliasing you can gain a have a nice gain over there, but now I'm, ta I'm talking about like more uh, feature that will decrease a lot your uh, image quality. If you're uh, touching the anti-aliasing, you will see that all the object and the, your uh, uh, whatever your tune that you're picking, all the um, line are kind of like breaking when you move. So uh, this one is really important, and it's just a FX AA. So honestly, just leave it at uh, on. But uh, if you still struggle and you have I don't know 30 FPS. Maybe you should just try it to see if uh, it helps you. So that's about it, guys. Uh, this game doesn't have a lot of options. The problem with this is you check on or off. You don't have any like high, medium, or low. So no bracket. So uh, honestly, uh, just do that, and you're. It's not like it's not a game that it's really tough to to run, and uh, you will probably gain your 60 FPS uh, pretty easy. So uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys.